Now you want to divide this reference structure into three equal sections so that you can put your horizontal and vertical beams. Click on Start 2D Sketch, select any face, and now click on Project Geometry, and then just select the face again. This will project the geometry on top of each face so that you can snap to the specific points on the face you are making your sketch on. You won't, you will not be able to snap to the points in the back. So click on line, start from the region again, and you want to divide your jacket structure into three equal sections, 45, it could be approximately equal sections. So just hover on top of this end point of this line and type 15,000, press enter, 15,000 again, press enter, and then just select this line, this point here. Now you will see that your structure has been divided into three sections, although the third one is not approximately equal to the 15. However, we'll work with that. Again, if you want to make it more precise, you will have to calculate what is the angle here and then you can find out how much the length you can divide into three equal sections. You may have to use trigonometry at this point. Okay, however, we'll move on. Now you want to make the horizontal beams. So click on the end point for the 15,000 you have already made. Ensure you make a straight line for the horizontal beam and it is snapping to the, the geometry you have projected, press click and your horizontal plane will be made. Now, again, at the reference point for 15,000, make a straight line to represent your horizontal beam and snap to the projected line, click and it will be made. Now, you may want to add any diagonal beams it is not necessary, but if you want to add your diagonal beams, you can. For example, I'm going to add single diagonal beams in each section. So I've got this beam here. Then I'll make another beam and another beam like this. Now ensure that you are not leaving the geometry and it is snapping to the projected geometry you have made. Once you are happy with your sketch, press escape to escape from the line command. Select the sketch like this, drag and drop, right click and copy your sketch so that you can paste it on the other faces. Finish the sketch. Now you want to add this sketch, which you have copied into this side of the reference structure. Start with the sketch again and then select the plane and paste the sketch on this face here. It will automatically be placed according to the origin. Now you need to ensure that you are not leaving the geometry and you are within your boundaries. If everything seems fine, finish the sketch and do the same on the this face. Start to resketch, select the face, paste the sketch, right click and paste, finish the sketch, and then do the same on the other side. Start to resketch, select this face, paste the sketch, and finish the sketch. Yes, you will see that there are 
some lines going above your reference structure, we can always shave them off later. Okay. Now, once you have made all the reference lines on your reference structure, click on return and go to the assembly. And now you click on design. And now you can insert frame on the jacket structure you have made. In order to insert the frame, you may have to save your jacket structure first. So if you click on it, it will ask you to you must save the assembly documents after creating a frame member. You click yes. And make sure you just click on save button as you have already created a directory for this project. Click OK and you know where the location is. Now you will be able to add beams into your reference structure from the categories. If you want round tubes, select round tubes. And standard, if you want it to be ISO. Make sure whatever you are selecting from these frame members properties, you are doing specifying this in your writer that this is what I have selected. From this, you can select any section of your choice. For example, I'm selecting the whole total sections. Size is specified to you in your design specification. From this, I am selecting four zero six point four millimeters times twenty five thickness. That is closest to the specification I have and then specify the material. It should be mild steel or it could be any other material of your choice. And again, whatever you're selecting, make sure you specify in your item. Now you can just select the vertical beams from here and it will all automatically make the vertical beams for you. This specification which I have selected is for the vertical beams only. Now I want my horizontal and diagonal beams to be at a little uh, less diameter than my vertical beams. So once I have selected all the four sides, I'll just press OK and save individual frame members. Once they are done, I will now be able to select my horizontal frame members. So click on insert frame again. And for, for the horizontal frame members, I want the size to be lower, the diameter to be lower than the vertical beams. So according to my design specification, the closest I am, the closest diameter I have is 323.9 times 25. So I'll select this. And the material, make sure it is mild steel otherwise if you want to select any other material you can select any other material of your choice from here and then select your diagonal and horizontal beams you can use the orbit to rotate Make sure you do not double click on any line to make double beams. And once you have selected all four sides, I'm not making the square on the top and square on the bottom. If you want, you can. Okay. Press OK. And save all the respective beams. And your jacket structure is now completed. You can now turn off the visibility 
of your reference structure firstly before you turn off the visibility i would say change the appearance of this to be clear and keep the material as generic click on the jacket structure and right click and turn off the visibility even if you don't turn off the appearance it will not affect your study you can even if you don't need it now you can even suppress this feature so right click and click on suppress and that will exclude it from your assembly files now if you zoom in and double click on any beam you will be able to see the beam is going inside the the diagonal beam is going inside the vertical beam so you want to shape this off so what you will do click on design and click on notch and select the frame member you want to notch and then select the frame member notch tool click on notch tool and then select the frame member you want to use as your notch tool so what it will do it will cut the beam according to the profile you have selected now you will see even though this is cutting the beam from here there is an extended profile here which you don't need you can just click on extend notch profile and that will remove that profile from there click ok and your beam is now notched you will have to notch all the sides and all the beams from top to bottom the reason is as you can see here there is a cluster of beam inside the vertical beams so you want to notch all the beams so that they are contacted and they are shaped according to the vertical beam profile you can view each member by just double clicking on it and you will be able to see and treat that individual member as a individual component now click on notch command select the beams you want to notch you can select multiple beams at a time and then you can select this notch tool and select the beam you want all the beam to be notched again against click ok and it will notch all the beams for you now you will be able to see that all the beams has been notched according to the vertical beam however when we double click on this component here we are able to see that this beam is still going inside the horizontal beam diagonal beams are still going inside the horizontal beam so we can resolve this issue by notching the diagonal beams or by notching the horizontal beams against the diagonal or the horizontal beams i will show you one example click on notch and for example in this case i want to notch my diagonal beams according to my horizontal beam and that will be notched against that profile okay so once we double click now the diagonal beams are being cut against the vertical beam if you double click on it you will be able to view it okay so you may have to do this on all four sides if you're not sure which beams you have notched and which beams you have not notched so far you can always double click and have a look at them so for example now this diagonal beams have not been not been notched against this horizontal beam so i will notch them here press ok and that will be done now you have to notch all four sides of this beam of this jacket structure to ensure that every beam has been cut against the profiles you require 